All right, welcome back. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is get the window actually launching. Okay, and we'll probably start, you know, detecting how many objects we have selected and what we have selected and storing that in the variable. So let's go and get back to the editor script over here. All right, so in order to draw a window, let's just do this down here. I'm going to declare a, just a generic variable. We're going to call this our win. And this is going to be equal to get window and a type of window. All right. And what we need to do is put in the type of this particular uh, window here. And it's not type of, we have to just put in the type. So we want object grouper editor. All right, like so. And that basically gets a window for us. So it creates it in memory, but it doesn't actually show it just yet. And what's cool about this is we can actually put in a title. So if I were to just put in one of those parentheses, you can see we have a bunch of overrides here. All right, so if I push down on the arrow keys, we have these options to turn it into a utility, give it a title, give it a bunch of uh, parameters here that where we could all try to dock it and stuff like that. Multiple, you know, uh, arguments here, stuff like that. All right, the one I'm going to use just to keep it simple right now is just add a, a title. So I'm going to say group selected or something like that. We'll just go with that. Cool. All right, so at that point, this particular window is now created. So we instantiated the, the window, created an instance of it. We're stored in, in this variable. So what we want to do now is say win.show, and this actually shows the window. Cool. So let's go back to Unity and try this out. All right, so let's go up here and say object grouper, and voila, we get a window. Super quick, just like that. And we have our title. So with that, let's go hook up our hotkey or key combination there. So inside of the menu here, what I can do is I can add a combination of stuff. So if we actually go take a look at the docs for the menu item here. All right. Um, you can see that we can add a percentage sign for control or a pound sign for shift or the and symbol for alt. And then just follow it up with a letter on the keyboard. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to come back in here. So I'm going to do Control Shift G. All right, so Control, remember, is that percentage sign. Uh, shift is the pound sign. And then I want G, like so. And I deleted all that stuff there. Cool. So I'm going to save that, come back in Unity, and we'll try it out. And I try to do this for as many tools as possible. And there we go. Control shift G. This will allow me to go and group things really fast. So I don't have to right click, say create empty, name it, and then select all the things I want to put in the group and then drag and drop it in there. We're just going to do it in one button click. Okay. All right. So we got our hotkey all hooked up. Let's go back to the tool. Now the next element uh, that we need or ingredient for this particular recipe is our UI. So I'm going to do the void on GUI method. Okay. And and here, let's just get it going. We're going to say editor GUI layout dot label field, like so. And we'll just give it a string. So let's take a look at those arguments there. So we can give it a content label or just a string, or we can do a bunch of stuff. All right, we'll just do the string for now. So I'm going to call this um, my label. I just want to check to make sure everything's working appropriately. All right, so let's go back to Unity. And there you go. So now we have a label. Cool. So I'm just going to close this down here like so. All right. So what are we going to need? Um, so we, we want to be able to name the op or the group, the new group that we create. All right. Um, so we're going to have to store that. So I'm going to make a new private string. So this private string is going to be called wanted name. All right. We'll just declare this to something like enter name and we'll do a little debug checking. All right. And let's just make sure this is correct. There we go. All right. So instead of uh, this being my label, I'm going to say um, group name. And this is just going to sit on top of, you know, the, the field where we enter the particular group name. All right. So 
what I want to do now is I want to say that this wanted name is equal to whatever input the user provides. And to do that, we need to do an editor GUI layout dot text field. All right. And this text field has a bunch of overrides as well. All right. So we can do string text or we can give it a label as well. In this case, I'm just going to do the text. All right. So we're going to call this wanted name. And this will basically, whatever I type into this text field is going to be put into this variable right here. And we can use that information when we go and actually create the group. We'll just assign the game object that name. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, so I'm going to use my hotkey. And there we go. So now we've got group name as the label, and we have enter name inside of this text field. And I can go in here and call this uh, boxes group now all right but you know because I like to keep that group extension on just about all my groups what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna automatically add that suffix to it, whatever name I give it all right so one other thing I want to do is I want to kind of space this stuff out a little bit it's a little bit too tight to the top right because it's just filling up the entire uh, window area all right so in order to do that we need to make use of uh, layouts okay and so uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to declare a editor GUI layout dot begin uh, vertical. And we'll do this like that. So whenever you create a vertical, uh, we also need to uh, close that vertical. So we're going to say editor GUI layout dot end uh, vertical like so. Okay, great. So now what we can do is we can stack all these objects together. All right. Or we can add space. So I can come in here and say uh, editor uh, GUI layout dot space like so. And we'll put one of those at the bottom as well. So you can see we'll get a space at the top and bottom. All right. So we spaced it a little bit on the top and bottom because we created a vertical layout. So these things are now being laid out vertically. All righty. So let's go and um, push it over a little bit. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. One way is to do the editor GUI layout dot uh, horizontal or begin horizontal like so. All right. And anytime you open a layout like this, you want to close it. So we'll say end. All right. And then we could also add a space right here. And you'll notice that we get a space on the horizontal. But what happens is that we get the two elements right next to each other, all right? Because now they're being horizontally laid out. We got the space, but that means now we have to put this group of UI elements into a vertical layout as well, all right? So it's good to see this because it basically helps us to um, get all this stuff going. And honestly, what we could do is you could do the horizontal first and then do the vertical last like so and there you go so now we're horizontally moving everything over on both sides of the window and then we're creating a vertical layout so that will work for us so let's just save all that and go back to unity and i'm doing this because i want the label on top of the text field like so all right completely aesthetic but now we've got it kind of in the center there and you can always stack these things up too i want it a little bit more down on the vertical there cool the other thing i want to do is provide a style to this so i'm going to say editor styles if i can spell that correctly editor style like so we'll give this a bold label so let's go take a look at that cool so we got a, a bold label all right so with that um what we need to do is just put in the button now. All right, so I'm going to come in here and just below here, uh, what I want to do is put in a button. So I'm going to put this within a if statement. So I'm going to say if uh, GUI layout dot button. All right, uh, we'll call we'll give it a title of group selected. Okay, and what we can do is provide a bunch of options in here. So we can say GUI layout dot expand uh, width is true like so and we can also do a GUI layout dot height 
So we can set the height explicitly to something like 45. And then we'll just close this off. So we'll do a debug log here. We'll say grouping selected. Like so. And let's get rid of this debug log because we don't need that anymore. Cool. All right. So we are pretty much good to go with our UI. This is base, just a basic setup. You can go in and extend this as much as you want, add other features to it, like maybe an ungroup selected. All right. Cool. So now we have our button and we are firing off the particular code inside of that if, st if statement. All right. So I'm going to leave you guys there in this video. And in the next, we're going to get this actually grouping some objects. Okay. Thanks so much.